I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my hair growth journey results. Yes, that's right. On November 27th, I cut my hair, and I'll show you pictures of that first haircut and my progress all along the way. Then I will tell you the things that I did to help my hair grow a little bit faster, and I really think that they worked, and I'm very excited to share this information with you, and I have a lot to get through. But if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things you think, then I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe, and when you click that little bell that just sends you an email notification of my future videos and if you could give this video a thumbs up too that would be just great okay I am so excited to be here today this is totally my normal hair it is my real hair I don't have an extension in however at the end of this video if you want to stick around I'll show you how the irresistible me hair extensions are able to totally thicken up my hair which I really do appreciate that because last November which was almost exactly four months ago on November 27th the day before I decided Decided, heck I'm gonna cut off my hair and I'll show you a picture of what my real hair looked like in a few minutes and you'll you'll see the reason why I cut my hair but I got a haircut on November 27th the very next day it was kind of an impulse thing and I have been growing my hair for the past four months it is March 30th just three days past that four month point and I am so happy to be here and you know at my age you can personally think that I should have shorter hair or whatever but I am just used to having long hair and I see myself someday as being this boho older lady and I know that seems strange I don't seem very boho to you guys maybe but I always was before YouTube and I think I'm going to be heading back in that direction over the next few years just having long I'll probably never go gray but long blonde hair and Birkenstocks well maybe not Birkenstocks maybe heels as long as I possibly can okay maybe not totally boho but fairly boho that's how I see myself with the long hair and not really having to do too much with it okay let me go ahead and show you these pictures I'll show you what happened there I am before I got my hair cut in the first picture and most of the time especially back then I was wearing hair extensions whenever I was on YouTube so you didn't see how thin the ends were but look at that I had had a bunch of layers and the bottom was almost non-existent so that was probably on November 25th when I took that first picture then on the 27th this is right after I had the haircut and I put a little strip of blue tape right below it so as you can see November 27th my hair is just above the top of that blue tape and then I went two months to January 27th and my hair has grown a whole inch and a half which hair normally grows on average half an inch and my hair has been growing consistently just over three quarters of an inch and I'll show you some of the products and some of the techniques I've used to get that good hair growth in just a moment but back to this picture there I am two months after the haircut and that tape is one and a half inches wide that blue tape and so my hair has grown one and a half inches in two months which is again three quarters of an inch per month and here I am just three days ago on March 27th and I've added another piece of blue tape down there because I'm going to watch my hair grow it kind of gives us a good reference to see where my hair is growing but my hair started at the top of that blue tape and then in four months altogether it grew three and one quarter inches and as I mentioned the average hair growth is half an inch per month and I was getting just over three quarters of an inch every single month for the past four months and I'm very very happy about that so let me show you some of the things I've done and the measures that I've taken to help my hair grow a little bit faster and I really think it did work okay the first is this vital proteins collagen peptides and I use this every single morning and it's just a collagen growth supplement and here it is it comes with a little cup here and I just put this in my coffee every morning I have one cup of coffee and then I switch to green tea that's part of my new kind of health related emphasis which I'll tell you about later but this just dissolves very nicely in a cup of coffee and you really can't even tell it's there you can use it in hot coffee or tea and it does do better in a hot liquid and this is the small size and I ordered this one once and then this is the second one of these big ones that I've ordered because what I do is I keep this in the laundry room with my other supplements and then every time this one gets a little low I go ahead and refill this small one and I keep this out in my coffee making area so there is that vital proteins collagen and it is gluten free and dairy free and supposedly the collagen in this helps your hair grow faster and stronger and more durably it helps your nails be harder and it helps your skin as well and I guess I've been on this exactly four months because I bought this right after I had that horrifying short haircut because I thought I am going to grow my hair and I really do think that my skin is looking better and that could be related to a lot of different things it may not be this 
but I really feel this is an excellent product. Now the second supplement that I added is this biotin and this is the sports research brand of biotin and this was not what I started out with. I'll show you what I started out with. I wish I still had the bottle but I think I threw it away but I started out with Biosil and that is the one that Christy Brinkley recommends or you know Hawks whatever and so there she is of course she's beautiful but being on YouTube I know that that hair is probably her beautiful hair extensions now the Biosil had very good reviews it had about 1450 reviews about four stars but it didn't have very many pictures on it as you can see there these are some of the little pictures that were there under the reviews on Biosil and I think I bought about three bottles of the Biosil it was kind of expensive and it comes 30 tablets to a bottle so that was about three months and then I started doing more research on YouTube and I discovered this sports research brand of biotin and it had fabulous results as you can see here it had about four and a half stars 9300 reviews almost all five star reviews and when I clicked on the review pictures on this on Amazon this is just one of maybe seven or eight pages of people who posted before and after pictures they absolutely love this biotin brand and I've probably used this for about the last two weeks I say probably because I put all my supplements in this big thing and I'm not sure exactly when I did start this but I will continue reporting on my hair growth and we'll see how this biotin affects my hair growth versus the biocell that I was on before now the third supplement that I've been using is called Viviscal Pro and this is a shark fish oil supplement and there are research studies on this but I believe they were supported by the company so who knows but all I know is that my hair person Dana who does my hair I absolutely love her and I really trust her opinion and I'm sorry in a way that I used all three supplements but when I saw my short hair I was desperate and I thought I'm going to throw the big guns at this and we'll see what happens but so far so good now in addition to taking those supplements I've also been doing some things that I feel have really helped my hair grow longer and stronger the first of which is and it sounds kind of counterintuitive but I have not cut my hair and you know for the longest time I believe what everybody tells you which is oh to make your hair grow longer you've got to cut it but that never did make sense to me because your hair does not grow out from the ends it grows out from the roots and yes you know everybody gets dead ends and dry ends but as long as you keep your hair conditioned I think if you want to grow your hair don't cut it for a while in fact I was looking at some other youtubers online one of whom had not cut her hair in five years and she could sit on it it was amazing and I don't want to get that long but at least at this point I have not cut my hair in four months I have my hair cut at one salon and I have my hair colored at another salon and Dana is my colorist and she colors my hair every six weeks and for the last two times she keeps saying hey did you just get your hair cut your ends look really great and I'm like no I didn't I am not cutting my hair so these are the same ends that I had on my hair four months ago when I got my last cut and I don't know how long I plan to grow my hair but as long as it isn't quite the length I want it to be I won't cut it now in addition to not cutting my hair I also am trying to keep it in excellent condition and I do that in several ways first I don't wash it very much at all I wash my hair about every fourth day maybe once or twice a week and I have to admit it gets kind of scruffy <laughs> between washes sometimes but I do use a dry shampoo and I just try to bear with it because every time you wash your hair it does strip your hair of oils and certainly every time you blow dry your hair or use hot tools it's a little hard on your hair and before I got my hair cut I would really always turn that blow dryer way up because I didn't want to stand there I got impatient but ever since I got my hair cut I realized that the condition of my hair was very important and to try to keep my hair in the best condition possible I no longer fry it with the blow dryer yes I do blow dry my hair still some people on YouTube say to never use a blow dryer or hot tools on your hair but that just isn't workable for me so while I do use the blow dryer I never use the hottest setting anymore before I got my hair cut I was very guilty of that because I'm very impatient and I thought oh I don't want to stand here for that extra five minutes so I would nuke my hair every morning and I no longer do that and also I try to be very good about doing a weekly deep condition and I tried lots and lots of conditioners including the it's a 10 but I have never found anything as good as this macadamia natural oil deep repair mask this stuff is just incredible it looks like any other mask and there it is I'm at the end of that I just ordered another one oh it smells heavenly it is absolutely wonderful this conditioner takes my hair from kind of fried looking and dry sometimes 
to nice and soft and sleek and shiny. It's really amazing because I don't have the type of hair that does that. My hair is kind of coarse and really doesn't get a lot of shine, but this macadamia hair treatment is absolutely wonderful. And if you buy this, you will absolutely love it. Now, about nine months ago, I did a video on this HairMax Laser Band 82. And unfortunately, I didn't really read the instructions carefully. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought I was supposed to use this every single day. And I started out using it nine months ago. And for about the first month I did, and then I just couldn't keep up with doing it every day. And so I quit. And actually I was really using it about maybe three times a week. And I didn't think that was the correct way to use it. And you all kept asking me about it, but I didn't feel like I'd given it a fair opportunity because I thought I was using it wrong. Well, when I looked up the directions again, I realized that I had really been using it right, using it about three times a week, because you're only supposed to use this every other day. So what I wanted to do for you to really show you how this works is to start fresh. And I started using it again last night. I had promised you earlier that I would show you how those supplements worked on hair growth. And I think they worked just beautifully. I would totally recommend them. And now I'm going to add in this device and I'm going to use it every other night, just like they recommend. It is super simple to use. You just turn it on and then it emits this red light and it just takes 90 seconds. You, you put this here, you know, on the top of your head and then it beeps in 30 seconds and then you do it here and then you do it at the back and that's all you do. And you do that just three days a week. And I'll put a link to this device below so you can read some more about it. And now that I've given the supplements their fair chance, I'm going to really start using this every other night. I'm going to use it for the six months and I'll do a video down the road to show you the results. Now, as we get older, our hair does tend to thin out at the top and also just the volume tends to recede over time. And one of the things we can do to jack up our volume is to add hair extensions. And early on in my channel, I was sent the Irresistible Me hair extensions and I absolutely love them. In fact, several other times, other companies have offered to send me their hair extensions and I've always declined because these are absolutely wonderful. They're human hair, you can get them in all lengths and I really like it that they're very, very affordable. And they sent me a couple of sets along the way, but since I cut my hair, I wanted to just order my own. So I did pay for these myself. When they come, they come in this little packet here and you can order your color and I'm gonna put a link below and I think there's a discount code to get 10% off or something like that. And so they just come in this little packet, little plastic packet, and this side just has one little two clippy in it. And you can take this one out and see if the color is right, but you really can't open this one or it's yours. So make sure to just test this out using this little one weft here. And these are the extensions that I ordered. And I ordered them in a color called Honey Blonde, but it turned out not to be exactly the right color. So I took these to my colorist and had them colored to match my hair. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put these in my hair, but I don't use all of them on a daily basis. In fact, usually I just use the one single weft and they have this and I think it's like $50 and it just adds a wonderful amount of fullness to your hair and looks very natural. I will add a few more in addition to that though, just so you can see how they work, but you can use as many or as few of these as you want. So here goes. Normally you would put the one weft, there's a little bone that sticks out and normally you would start it right down here just under that bone there. But because I'm still growing my hair and I think I want my hair to grow another inch, I'm going to start the extension, not here, but up here, which looks a little bit weird, but it will give me a little more growth room on the same set of extensions. I hope that made sense. So basically you just go ahead and section off your hair like this. And then I just take a little pink clippy and just clip it up just like that. See, there it is. And then I'm just going to take this single weft extension and I probably should have flat ironed it before. Let's see, there we go. And again, I'm going a little high on my hair. You just clip them in. So this is how they look in the back. I can't really see that. So I'll just take that down. Okay, let me show you how they look in the back. Here they are. I don't know if you can see that. And again, I'm wearing them a little bit high on my head because when I grow my hair another inch, I'll just move them down on my head into the place that they really should be. But I think they look very natural and I've been wearing them to work this week and no one has noticed at all. Now I'm going to put the two wefts in on the side. And here is a two weft. And I think they're called two weft because there are two little clippies here. See, and they just unclip like that. And I'll go ahead and just kind of section off my hair a little bit. It's kind of hard to see in the monitor here. So then I'll just again use that little pink clippy to, to clip that hair out of the way. 
And after you've worn these for a few days, you get so used to them that you could practically do it in your sleep. It's, it is no big deal at all. It takes you like maybe two minutes to put them in every morning, maybe two to three minutes. Totally easy. And then to add a little more volume, I'll just do one more clip there on the side. I'll just separate off that hair. Just clip it in your hair. And then you just do that. It's kind of hard to do this in the monitor. Got a little mirror over here. I'll use that. So that added just a little bit of thickness on that side. Still looks very natural. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. And then you just take the hair there and you're going to clip it off with your little pink clippy. Then you're going to take the two weft clippy and unsnap it. Then you'll just go up there underneath your hair, clip it right in. These really are super, super easy. And they look very, very natural because they're human hair. You can curl them, you can color them, you can do anything with them that you would do with your normal human hair because they are human hair. And really with these being so inexpensive, I can't see any reason to get fake hair. I'll just clip that one in. So that's how those extensions look in. They're very natural, they're very easy to wear, and they are very, very reasonably priced. And in terms of the extensions, you can either have them cut to be exactly your same length, or you can have them cut maybe an inch longer, and in that way, they still look really natural. These are an inch longer than my natural hair. You know, we have no qualms about wearing makeup or doing good skincare, and in terms of making our hair look younger, if an extension can help with that, I think, why not? Well, that was a look at the first four months of my hair growth journey. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to follow along with me as I grow my hair further, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell that will just send you email notifications of my future videos and they'll all relate to just our age. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been reading from these Language of Letting Go cards from Melody Beatty. And I'll go ahead and choose a card. Come on, God, what should we think about for the day? Ooh, allowing things to happen. Allowing things to happen. And she's going any which way the wind blows. That is tough for me. Today, I will let things happen without worrying about the significance of each event. I will trust that this will bring about my growth faster than running around with a microscope. That's funny. I will have faith that my lessons will reveal themselves in their own time. Oh, friends, this is so true. In many cases in my past, I was terrible at allowing things to happen. I would decide that I had to control my life. I had to set goals and get there and push and shove my way through the world. But in the second half, I've really realized that half the time, if I just have a general idea where I want to go and I say, God, come on now, I know you've got my back. I'm just going to let you propel me to help me get there. Sometimes when I do that, when I let God be in charge, everything just flows more easily and effortlessly. And my lessons do reveal themselves in their own time because really I think that's what life's about. Lesson after lesson after lesson. I used to think the lessons would end, but now I don't. So friends, just for today, let's give our lives to God and allow things to happen because when we do that, sometimes we end up in an even better place. Take care. See you next time.